Hello, hello, how are y'all doing today? How are you doing on this Friday? Look, I pray that you are having an awesome day. I just finished going to the throne for y'all before I got on this video, you know, because I, I know that it's very important to pray before you begin anything, you know that? So I just wanna to, want to just share that little tidbit with y'all real quick. That it's important that in everything you do that you 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 take it to the throne you know what before you get ready to to speak to people or whatever you make sure you pray before you get ready to open your mouth and you know you got something serious to talk to someone about make sure you pray and ask god to guide the words that are coming out your mouth matter of fact guess what that is what the word is today y'all it is called what what are you saying out your mouth are you speaking life or are you speaking death? Look, I'm going to be coming today from, I'm going to be coming from uh, the book of Proverbs. It's a book of wisdom. If you haven't read in that, that book, look, I encourage y'all to get in. It's in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? It's a book in the Bible, Proverbs. Okay. Proverbs chapter, um, where are we at? 12 verse 18 says, there is one whose rash words are like words thrust, okay? But the tongue of the wise brings healing. Ooh, did y'all hear that? The tongue of the wise brings healing. Yesterday, I was talking about wisdom. Today, they're repeating that the tongue of the wise brings healing. Did y'all hear that? Take heed to it, okay? Then the next uh, verse is Proverbs chapter 18, and we're going down to verse 21. Bow, bow. Okay, and that says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. So the first verse y'all is self-explanatory. Okay. Look, you got to be careful with this tongue because this tongue can thrust. It's like a knife. It, it can jab and destroy someone. And I have used my mouth in the wrong ways before. Okay, it ain't always been holified. Okay, I, look, I, I got a t shirt I can wear. I, you know, I, I've never been one of these people to be fighting and stuff, but I felt like I could, you know, okay, you're gonna do certain things to me. I got you. I'm gonna come out my mouth and I'm gonna say something smart, you know, in some, you know, smart way. And hey, there was times that I may have and may even use the cuss word, and it really wasn't like with random people it, it's usually the ones that's close to you that you might release one on but it would have to be something really really bad for me to go there and then i'm repenting i'm repenting to god i'm trying to get it right you know but you can't take back those words y'all you cannot take back those words and i remember being married and yo dude would do stuff to me you you gonna cheat okay i got you blah, 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 blah. you know and and then i'm like oh god and it, and god can't move on my behalf you know what i'm saying even though what he was doing was wrong Okay, and I got free from it. But what I'm saying is, yo, I used to, okay, dude, I got you. And then there came a time where God began, he started to humble me. He was like, no, I need you to shut your mouth. I need you to get quiet and I need you to let me work on your behalf. So, you know, it was a lot of learning. I went through, I went through a lot. I'm still learning. I'm still growing y'all on a daily. I'm still growing and learning on a daily. Look, a daily, okay? Step by step, day by day, I, I have come a long way. But I thank God for those times in my 20s because, yo, huh. and even in my 30s, I, I'm, I'm over, I ain't over the hill. I'm 41. But anyways, let's get back to the story. Okay. Um, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. And then when I learn y'all how, to, how to, uh, to, to listen to God, Instead of trying to do things in Kawana's hands, in Kawana's feet, in Kawana's mindset, you know, taking it to the street like the girls on the street was telling me to do. Some of the girls, and I ain't going to say because I didn't really talk to too many people, but I had some of them be like, girl, 
I mean, let me tell you what you need to do. But then I had some of them girls, uh, some spiritual mothers in my life that really, really told me what was the deal and what I really needed to do. And guess what that was? Get on my knees and pray. That was a uh, humble myself. Uh, uh, shut my mouth. Um, give it to the Lord. Keep my mouth quiet. Because guess what? God can move better than I can. If a man ain't going to listen to the Holy Spirit, do you really think that he going to listen to you ladies? Hello? I'm going to repeat that again. Someone told me that a long time ago. If the man won't listen to the Holy Spirit that's dwelling inside of him, do you really think he going to listen to you? I can't hear nothing. What you say? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's, that's facts. That's facts. So I'm learning to shut my mouth. Because I'm really opinionated. <laughs> Opinion, opinionated. Okay. The second verse uh, is relating to um, what it is, what it is. You know what I'm saying? Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruits. Look, death and life. You can choose to speak life out of your mouth. You can choose to speak life over your situations. You can choose to speak life over your marriage. You can choose to speak life over your business. You can choose to speak life over you. You can get up in the morning. You know, I have a list of I am's that I'm working on for another book that um, will be coming out. And God had me write this maybe two years ago. And I get up and I speak certain things over myself. I am fearfully and wonderfully made in Christ Jesus. I'm a, I'm a queen, a wonderful mother, a friend, an awesome wife one day to a wonderful man of God. I am prosperous because, you know, and it goes on and on and on about the things of who I am. I'm declaring those things over myself. I'm speaking those things over myself on a daily uh, concerning my children. I, you have to speak a life, y'all. Bring it, bring it down. What's in heaven, bring it down here on earth. The Bible says life, excuse me, um, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So that means, guess what? If you want the kingdom of heaven to come down in your life, you got to declare it. You got to decree it. You got to speak God's word concerning your children, concerning your, your husband, concerning your life, concerning your business, concerning the world. Stop looking at what you're seeing and talking about it and gossiping. But go to war with God on your knees, y'all, with prayer, okay? Uh, lastly, I think that's it. Basically, you will eat the fruit of it. So if you speak in life, you're going to eat the fruit of that. You're going to, you're going to see the fruit be to, you know, that harvest come in. But if you speak in death, you're going to see the fruit of that. You're going to see chaos and situations all around you happening. It don't have to be that way. Look, I want to end with this. I thought that this was like really powerful. This was something that the Lord had me Paint back in actually, shoo, that's been a long time. Um, 2009, y'all. I, you know, I was speaking life over someone, and so I, I'm giving this to uh, you all. Y'all see the fire coming out of this mouth right here? It's important. It could be the fire of God, meaning the, the fire of life, or it can be the fire of death that, that you could uh, receive from this painting. You know what I'm saying? But this painting speaks volumes. Look at it. Look at it. This is a man holding, holding the mic, you know, and it's, it, you determine, you determine, I repeat, you determine what type of fire come out, life fire or death fire. You know what I'm saying? Are you singing holiness or are you singing things that just going to bring a damnation to your body? You know what I'm saying? Yo, we got to be careful what we have coming in our spirit on a real. You know, I want y'all to still see it. But look, the bottom line of what I'm saying is, look, life and death is in the power of your tongue. To you choose today to speak life over yourself, over your unit, you know, your home, okay? Over your life, okay? Over people, okay? Okay? You want change to come? Well, I need you to start speaking change. Hello? Hello, did you hear me? I can't hear you. Please answer the phone. Look, y'all have a wonderful day. Hey, wonderful day. I love you all. Remember, be what? Be what? Uh, I want to get my weight out. Be what? Huh? Oh, wait, wait a minute. Let me get that out real quick. Oh, oh, this heavy, y'all. Be strong and courageous. Joshua 1 and 9. God bless you.